Sorcerer Fighting Simulator updated once again and as usual these updates are pretty huge and they could get pretty confusing especially with the war mode that came in and all the secrets that also got added to this game it could get pretty confusing so once again I'm here to make another tutorial Hi everyone, welcome back to another Sorcerer Fighting Simulator video. And in this video, I'm just going to be going over all the new stuff that got added. Uh, I'm going to try to post two videos today. I haven't really been posting lately, and that's because school started again, and we have the full schedule going, and everyone just really busy with school. So the first thing that's going to get your attention is the hypership travel. Uh, it's actually really cool if you come down here. I don't really understand why that huge ramp is there, where you could just jump down. But if you come all the way down, and you will see... An elevator on this side and one on this side they both take you to the exact same place but something if you do get to notice is if you come to look down here you can literally see a huge spaceship down there and this is the hypership right here I was actually able to go down there during the testing session but they closed it off for now but again this just keeps on adding on to the story as you could see it's just like being constructed right now but we will actually be able to fly that really soon if you come into the room right over here as you could see we are on right here as cloud current planet and this is our side so we will actually be able to travel through all of these so it's gonna be like the dimensions how we have an enemy fighting simulator because the training areas once you get too much we're gonna have to jump into the other I don't know, is they gonna call it something else, not dimensions, they're gonna be calling it something else. And we're gonna actually be able to travel through all these planets. And on the other side is the Void World, so it's where the Reaper and all those guys are. And we will be actually be able to go on that side. And another thing is the War update. It might be just like another fun thing that got added to the game PvP wise. But on Marm's, one of Marm's quests, if you were to finish it, it would say, I think it was for the last triple jump move. That if you finish it, I'm pretty sure it would tell you that um, this power will help to you for something greater that is about to take place. And including the war zone, that means we're going to be preparing to fight something big. And that's going to be in the void area. The reaper, hopefully, or something even bigger. And yeah, so that's going to be basically the reason for the war update. Just to sharpen our skills and to be able to fight. And the war mode is actually insanely fun. As I said, PvP in this game is insane and it's super cool and super fun. And yeah, uh, especially with Creative Magic, you could easily get these dubs. I actually haven't played this. The update came out last night. I didn't really get a chance to make a video because I was too tired. Uh, in this game mode, there are actually tons of new staff skins that came out. I believe there's like almost 10. Uh, anyways, in this game mode, you get Danias, and you get to basically convert them into staff swings, push-ups, managed gems, and these are extremely worth it. Like this 40k, 16k over here, you could literally almost three to four hours of grinding. You get 12 hours worth of grinding of grinding for staff swings. So you just literally just farm this for three to four hours, get around 500 to 600 Danias per round, and you could get worth 12 hours of staff swings, and that's really OP, especially for the ranks. There were two new ranks that got added. I just bought all of them um ranks come all the way down and it's the last one right here 950 mil that really again isn't expensive at all um oh yeah the skins um these are the ones i do have right now the uh, demon tracker and the vorbs were limited time you can't get them anymore from the void demon and all that like, these are all these were all the available skins from last from the last uh, update but in this update is around almost 10 I believe it's 10 to 12 new staff skins I'm gonna quickly do I don't want to do duels what if I get a trash teammate team I'm at oh my god quickly. I think this is my boss load I don't even know what I have okay I'm gonna have to tell you Dude, I've seen this guy before in some other games and of course, I'm with some newbie. Anyways, I'm gonna see how good I could do here. I'm just gonna go straight in. I got pretty. I got hit really hard. 
Wait, where's my teammate at? Isn't this duos? Obviously, I didn't stick to my teammate. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Never mind, he's right there. And there you go, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm gonna have to skip my crit and magic load up going. Oh, wait, let me quickly check this out. Ball King's up there, oh my god. I'm pretty sure people grinded this like all night because that's a lot of people up there. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure for the staff skins, I'm gonna pull them up right now. Actually, where's my Discord at? Um, it should be right over here. Um, go to my screen. Alright, here you go. These are the staff skins that are currently got added. All of these, 1, 2, 3, yes, 9, 10. This one looks really cool. If you come down here and you can literally see how you get all of them. Bloodhunter, 3 support points. And support points is basically your uh, people getting your support thingies. Uh, I'm pretty sure the thing, uh, lightning magic and healer magic are the only ones that have it. It's basically that healer orb that you place down your teammates will place on it. You could uh, press on it. And I think you need like seven people to press on that for like one of the staff skins, and that's really hard to get. I'm not sure if it does work in VIP server. I'm pretty sure you don't get Danya's in VIP server though. That got removed. And while I'm here, I'm gonna fix my crater magic. Okay. To be honest, I think I'm good to go. I might. I want some crazy range moves. Wish sure I have it all though. I'm gonna stick with this. I'm pretty sure this was my corrupted loadout, the one I would use on a corrupt. These maps are actually pretty huge too, and I'm kind of surprised no one's camping it out. Everyone's actually fighting. Was that my teammate? Is he still in there? It's a 1v1, right? Never mind, someone else there. Why is that my audio broken? Oh, never mind, they're fighting over there. Yeah, there's two people left. There's a lot of creative magic in the server, bro. Dude, are you trying to hit me? That's a lot of creative magic. Dude, fight it out. Okay, I think this is gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm gonna do one more round in this video. And the next video is just going to be basically the new training areas that came out. Yeah, and as you can see, the hyper ships are already flying around. There's already a couple of them. Let me see if I could. Yeah, these are super fun to use inside the arena as well. You can bounce on them. Parkour. Did it finish yet? I wanna get on that shit. Dude, that looks really good. Or how much did I get from that? 198, that's actually really trash. Hey, let's go, I'm on the ship. Anyway, so this is what we are gonna be able to fly really soon. I'm gonna make this my thumbnail. Let me just put this screenshot in here. Oh, I'm trying to 
close all this really quick. Oh my god. I'm just gonna fight it out and like, get as much of as much as damage as I could get in here. It's already chasing me. I like how I just purposely walked on that. What am I getting hit by? I also do need to equip some healing moves as I just remembered. Are these guys trying to camp out? I don't think so, sir. Well, I'm stuck. Oh my god. Wait, what am I getting hit by? Oh my gosh. I like how I just ran right into that. Uh, create a workbench. I'm gonna change this out. To water. I also do need a healing move. I think I'm gonna change this one. Where's healer at? Oh, not this one. Uh, deals damage and 5% of health. Bandage burn. Alright, I'm gonna go with my restore just in case if I do manage to uh, get in a um, if someone gets to pick up my points, I get a staff. Another thing about this game's running is your hands kind of go inside. Pretty sure anime fighting similar was like that, the ninja run, but they fixed that. Your hands go like flat now. Okay, I think this is gonna be it for this video. It's gonna get way too long. I never really want to get to the second video. And yeah, I hope you guys do get to get all the staff skins because it does get pretty tricky. But yeah, anyways, guys, good luck, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which should be in another few minutes.